Ladies and gentlemen, welcome! Today will be a video about on-chain analysis. Meanwhile, Bitcoin doesn't change much in terms of the expectation which we drew in the previous video, so we're sort of consolidating after this drop. Some people, although seeing a kind of a bear flag or a bear pennant here and expecting the continuation of the drop to nine and a half thousand, maybe even nine thousand dollars. But yes, this is the second option which we considered. So this would be a target for the continuation of the drop. But as a primer scenario, we are expecting the growth so i'm still stick with this plan but today the video is about on-chain analysis another matrix which was made by david Puel and his team bitcoin average dormancy we already actually covered many of the on-chain analysis metrics on the channel and in the end of the video i will show you where you can find the, those and if you will not understand something on this metrics it's probably better to return to the previous videos and understand what are the basics of them for example it uses cumulative destruction or cumulative value days destroyed which is basically the lifetime of the certain UTXOs of Bitcoin multiplied by its price and with some coefficients divided by days for example as well and you see how nicely this matrix reflects the drops in the price of Bitcoin in the whole history of its price evolution again I can show you the details in different videos you can find it in the end of this video but the dormancy is also very interesting basically it takes the destruction of the coins divided by the volume and in simple words it's basically describes the average number of days each coin transacted remained unmoved and the idea here is to kind of reflect the time when the long-term holders try to sell their coins at the relatively high price of Bitcoin meaning this is probably the top of the market and vice versa so you can see three cycles of the dormancy here it's a little bit noisy and and maybe doesn't reflect like the condition of the market momentarily but in fact if you will elaborate this a little bit deeper and here is some example on that like if you will also divide it by the supply then you would have already some kind of cyclic behavior of this indicator and you see it matches the tops and much matches the bottoms with the highs and low of this matrix but if you'll go even further I will skip this example but it's also interesting just to keep it a little bit short but this one is even more impressive in my opinion dormancy flow when you have the capitalization of the market divided by the annual moving average of the dormancy multiplied by the price and here is how it looks like you see now we can spot the bottoms with the very low values of this matrix and also it matches the tops not saying that in fact we can trace it with the local highs and lows and the interesting point here is not only the fact that we can basically trace the tops and bottoms by integrating the data from this matrix to our TA and other on-chain analysis data but the current condition of this is very interesting so they defined certain line here certain level and called bull to bear threshold where the market actually switched from the bear or accumulation as for example here to the bull cycle and right now as you can see well on the moment of this chart was published is 1st of June so probably it's already a little bit higher but in any case we just above or very close to this threshold line and despite the price moved so high recently we actually just switched to the bull market and my takeaway from that is regardless of this recent rally we actually have a lot of room to grow and all of that is just the beginning of the following huge huge bull market but in any case even for the long term progressions for spotting the next top for example I think it's really useful so I will leave the link to the in the description down below to this article and we can follow this and find the updates as soon as something important will appear now speaking about the on-chain metrics I made a video about SOPR from Renato Shirakashi and it's also great absolutely amazing indicator which also tracks the local lows on the bull market and local highs on the bear market and basically it's like absolutely perfect match for these points go ahead and watch the video I'll show you where you can find it in the end of this video again but right now this indicator becomes online and free although so far you couldn't find it unless you pay for the membership but recently they announced that they will make it online and free the site is studio.glassnode.com I will also leave the link in the description go ahead and check it out 
right now actually it's not updated from June 24th so I believe that since they just started to running it they still have to settle things down so I hope that they will make it updating daily but in any case let's follow and see because it's really really important especially in terms of the upcoming huge corrections to spot the point when this correction is over and when the market will start to go up again. And finally, I would like to end this video about the on-chain data videos which I made before. As I said, you can find them on the channel. They were not in the separate playlist so far. Now I made the list, it's called on-chain analysis. You can go and check, there are like 10 videos and this one will be 11th video. So you can find the SOPR data and days destroyed and many, many other things. I think it's really important because it's actually a very nice support for the general TA which we usually do. And some people even believe that this kind of data is even more reasonable, more reliable than the standard TA because, well, blockchain doesn't lie to you. All right, guys, that is it for today. Please go check it out those resources and I hope that was useful. Thank you for watching.